Hi everybody and welcome back to A Book in a Bottle. Excuse the echo that you're probably hearing today, but I am taping this in a dorm room. I'm teaching at a camp for young writers and um, it's uh, very bare bones, so I'm sorry about that. I thought it would be kind of fun while I am here at this camp this week, surrounded by a lot of different writers, um, songwriters, poets, um, student interns and counselors, to get their recommendations for some of their favorite reads uh, for the summer. So I've got a few for you. I won't go into any one in great detail, but I've got about five books to share with you really quickly. Um, one recommendation from Jesse Graves, who's a poet from Eastern Carolina State University. He's uh, on the faculty there, is a Swedish detective series. I'm going to glance here at my notes. It's the Kurt Wallander series. I I think it's been um, made into a BBC series, if I'm correct about that, um, about a Swedish police inspector. And the first one in the series uh, opens up with an elderly farmer who's been bludgeoned to death and his wife has been left um, with uh, to die with a noose around her neck. And thus begins the Kurt Wallander detective series. And of course, these are set in Sweden. Um, another recommendation from one of the counselors here is Do Androids Dream of Electric? This book first came out in 1968. It is the book that the movie Blade Runner, Blade Runner was based on. Um, it's a sci-fi book, uh, a post-apocalyptic elliptic setting. Uh, a nuclear war has ravaged the earth and there are very few animals that are still alive. Um, they're either endangered or extinct. And um, so it's a, um, 